Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and I have an, another addition to my Excel function library. And this time we're just going to show how you can get paths to the file and, and other worksheets and this and that, navigate around uh, with Excel with using the object. Uh, you can get the Excel function library from the URL over my head. Let me go ahead and show you the page it goes to just real quickly. You can get the download right here. Um, I have over 50 tutorials on Excel. Um, leveraging most of them leveraging the Excel function library. So it walks through how to use it and uh, pretty awesome. And there's some examples down here, but uh, let's jump into the function. So da, 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 da. Uh, well, first we got to get the handle, you know, to the active Excel file, and then we're going to shove that thing into this Excel paths. Now let's highlight it, hit alt F1 and studio. And that'll jump you to it. Here you'll see it has two parameters. The first one is required. The second one is optional because I'm shoving just A1 into it uh, in case you want to use the uh, like parent. If you want to pass it a range and then get the parent information from it, uh, it would allow you know this I wouldn't necessarily be using itself. However, I wanted to have the example of my function library in case you want to borrow from it. And, you know, you might have a need to do that and just want to have the example in this function library. So uh, you'll see here. Um, this first one, this active workbook full file name, uh, that just that is a direct uh, method with properties in there that will have a lot of you know the the path to the file, and then I just use the split path from Model Hockey to break out like the directory extension name, no extension, you know all the the things were available just because why not right? Put it in a function, then we can get, call it what we want. Um, this there is an active workbook dot name which gives you the full the file name path. However, since I already had that up here, um, I just commented out here. But again, I wanted to have this example in here in case you just wanted the workbook path. You wouldn't have to have all of this, right? You could just call that directly. Um, and then the username, which I was surprised, it gives you the username of the person that's currently active in the the, file, the program um, and your last author. Uh, so that's from the, the built-in document properties, last author. So um, I, I thought all these were relevant, so I threw them in here and... Let's go back to the example where we're calling it. So we're going to call it, put it in here, and then because it's an object, we have to loop over, you know, and uh, take a look at the stuff. So uh, this will dump it in. So there's the the directory is B, the drive is B. That's funny. So that maybe that needs a little work there because that shouldn't have been the first one. It, uh, you know what? Let's take a look. Um, let's go update this and get it right. So directory, directory, why is directory out directory? Huh. Okay. Well, that's, that's, oh, it's just in the root. And so that's why the drive and the directory are the same. Excuse me. I'm an idiot. Uh, sorry. Got up at four to drive my dad back today. <laughs> um, anyway, um, here's the file name and then here's the full file name path. So there you get the full path. Uh, the last author is still is me, um, the name, no extension. So we drop it off. This is just showing you all the data that's in there. Uh, or if you were using Maestrius M uh, message box function, because it's an object, uh, it can peek in there, you know, directly. And let's go back to the script calling it. There we go. So the first one was this, where we shove it into this data variable and we're looping over it. And the second one was right here. Oops where I'm just using Maestrius message box function and uh, just displaying it all at once. But then you could grab, you know, this way will allow you to grab just what you want. And what's cool is uh, let's say I, I wanted to just, let's say I didn't want to show this or this, and I just wanted, let's say the last author, right? So what I could do is say, you know, message box percent uh, results. Now this is the object results dot um, last author. Save it, run, and hit my hotkey, and there's my value that gets returned. Um, so isn't that cool, right? I think that's pretty slick. I don't have to uh, do a bunch of stuff. I can just call it directly there. So I hope this helps. Like I said, I have over 50 videos. Uh, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Cheers.